So hey, what's up everybody? I see uh, Blindside's already here. Sorry I was a few minutes late there, guys. I, uh, well, I had a couple things that I had to correct. The description being one of them. There is, I'm going to start this off by saying there is a discount code in the very top of my description. It's OS10. Gives you, I believe, 10% off of your order over at MRE Nation. I thought that was a pretty awesome incentive for uh, any, of, any of you guys that want to order from them. 10% off is pretty daggone good if you ask me. I mean, uh, that's 10 bucks off every hundred. So uh, every little bit counts in my opinion. But uh, today we're going to be checking out one of these MRE Nation uh, rations. Man, that pepperoni pizza is humongous. Look at that thing. It really is. It's a, that's probably one of the largest ones. It's got something pretty cool in it. I don't know what that is right there. Huh. Anyways, I haven't decided on a menu or anything. So, uh, I'll just leave that up to you guys. I don't have all the menus on the table. They don't all fit on the table. Uh, let's see. I already opened up the, uh, chili a couple weeks ago. Changed the camera angle a little bit. We got, uh, Asian-style beef strips. Before I move on, I do have a box sitting right here beside me that, uh, that was sent in by a Landl. I don't know if I should wait until next week to open that up and just uh, deal with the MRE Nation this week. And then next week be kind of a freestyle week. The uh, Got some B units, definitely going to get opened up next week. And then obviously something for, uh, for dinner. Probably I've got that South African, like half of it left. Got roughly half of a German left from the live streams. And I also have roughly half of a French ration left. So I could do some kind of a, uh, a mixed international type of, uh, type of meal with just a whole mishmash of things. Also, I'm noticing the numbers are pretty low. Even, you know, I, I know we're just getting started, but I made a total, I think, of three or four different posts about today's live stream. And I also did a, a YouTube story. I usually don't do those. And the reason that I did that was to see if anybody would get the notif notification for uh, if I did a story. And nobody is getting notifications. And it doesn't matter what I do. So the only thing that I can maybe think of is, and I've heard other people uh, recommend this, that I hate to say to even do this, but uh, to unsubscribe and then resubscribe and turn the notifications back on and maybe it'll start sending notifications out to folks again i know like on my whenever i release a regular video probably maybe 25 percent of the people that have notifications turned on actually get a notification so it's uh i don't want to get into all that technical stuff right now we'll talk about that maybe later i just wanted to mention that because like i said i can tell that the numbers are probably going to be kind of low because nobody got notified and i did I actually texted everyone that i had a phone number for i posted on a couple different mre info uh places where i could tell folks that i was having the live stream tonight um, G. Schultz even put it up on his Facebook page, I believe. He said he was going to do that. Um, I know he's busy tonight. He might make it for a few minutes and might not. Uh, Mickey Joe was bu uh, busy tonight. So uh, you guys go check out their channels, man. If you guys don't know who they are, G. Schultz has been around for a minute. Uh, one of the uh, one of the originals, him and Gundog, and uh, got Kiwi Dude. And I know MRE Jap got Gundog into it. And... Uh, of course, Steve, look, there's a list in my description of a whole bunch of people that are very well deserving of a subscribe. I got some new folks that are entering into there. We got uh, R.I.E. Eeyore that is just getting started in the MRE game. We got uh, Renee. If you guys don't know who, who Renee is, she's one of my, uh, what's it called? Uh, she monitors the chat over here, and, and she... Uh, uh, I, uh, I can't remember what that's called. Sorry. It's slipping my mind right now. But, anyways, if you guys haven't checked out Renee's channel, she's got some pretty good reviews over there. You guys ought to go check them out. Hook her up with a subscribe. Um, I think we could probably get her above 200. 
I think so. I think she said she was around 149. I think we could get 40, 51 folks over there to subscribe to Miss Renee. And, uh, hey, there's Miss Marilyn. And looks like Art has made it. So let's start going through <clears throat> these menus. I don't see Orlando in here yet, or maybe he is. Yeah, there he is. Moderator. <laughs> I just read just read up there. He's the moderator. Uh, Mr. Waz, that's a new name to me. Hello, how you doing? Donald Black, how you doing? Everybody's like, moderator, moderator. Yeah, that's the word I could... I was like brain locked, brain fart. My bad. Um, <laughs> I appreciate the help, everybody. And uh, let's see. Blonde says he got notified. Uh, you are one of the only people. Did you get all four notifications of things that I released for the live stream? Probably not. Um, I've got a video pretty much ready to put out, too. I'll touch on that a little bit. And uh, that came from uh, Nim, and Nathan shipped it to me from, once it was in the United States. So Nathan's MRE, Nim's, I think it's just, is it Nim's MRE? I'm not sure exactly. It, I'm, I don't know. There, I'll put a link to her in my description after I finish this up. That way, anybody re-watching this or anyone right now that can uh, go check Nim's channel out, you guys can do that. Now, let's go through these menus. Um... Let's see. I just had lentils last week in the uh, the. I had an HDR, and that thing it, it wasn't funky, but it was it was weird, like super super greasy, and it also had um, it was like real sticky. Uh, and then the bean salad was pretty good for what it was. I like the bean salad. It was good hot and cold. So uh, got a phone notification and an email of the live stream. And YouTube link of your story. Wow. Okay. So Landel got notified. I I gotta say, most folks didn't get notified. Um, everybody, just about that I have a number to text with, didn't get anything. I know uh, Art didn't get anything. Uh, Gundog didn't get anything. Like when folks like that aren't getting anything, and I know you guys are most likely subscribed and uh, notifications on. I mean, it's just YouTube is not doing their job or they're shadow banning me or they're doing something along those lines so it's like an uphill battle to fight but besides the fact let's check out we got asian stuff i have not looked into what the menus have contained in them even though gundog did send me a list hang on let me change my chat to live chat there we go live chat now i do also i'll touch on this real quick before i go through the menus i got the drawing tonight Going to let a few more folks get in here. Might do it after I unpackage the the MRE, and uh, we'll pick two more winners for this week. And this one is on MRE Nation. You guys will just have to contact me, and then I'll set you guys up with a way to get that done on Monday. Also, I had some people asking me about international shipping for the MRE Nation before I get started. Uh, talked to him today, and he said that he has Canada worked out, and he has Australia worked out. But he said if you keep checking back, he's going to be adding new countries, new locations, all the time. He said most likely daily. Uh, he's really working hard on getting the international shipping set up, and I'm going to tell you guys right now that is not an easy thing to do to go by the book. Uh, so... I, kudos for for going down that road and actually being willing to ship these things out of the country it's like i said it's not an easy thing to do i don't know a lot of you guys might not realize what a what a feat that really is and yes it's a little bit expensive to ship things out of the u.s but uh if you want some really good u.s stuff you're getting almost almost i don't know you're getting one and a half to two mres every time you get one of these that's a that's for sure so I don't know what's that equal out to if you get, you're getting almost what? It equal out to 20 MREs getting a case of these. Plus, plus you got that 13th bag of, uh, of extras. What's that called again? Oh, I have it around here somewhere. It's sitting right here on the table already. Mexican style chicken stew. But all right, talked about the international shipping, talked about the drawing coming up. Let some more folks. Uh, fly on in here. We got 32 thumbs up and 68 folks in here. Two folks happened to pop in while I was looking at the number. Numbers, YouTube loves to judge you on numbers. Uh, this is a, this is like a light lunch type of deal. Peanut butter and grape jelly. 
That one right there, I might save that one for the kids, just to be honest, because uh, my son expressed a little bit of interest in that whenever he saw it. We got uh, ah, the chicken burrito bowl. So I'm going to put them all up here and then go through them one by one. And that way you guys know everything that I have. And we'll pick one out. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm starving. I've had this uh, toothache not toothache because it's where i had a tooth cut out back whenever i was in high school and there's nothing there but i ha i've been having this weird i don't know if it's a phantom t toothache or what you would call it but it's it sucked hey there's gabe Rilla. gabe was just telling me he's pretty much got the mothman videos edited and he's gonna do some special editing maybe I'm not gonna guarantee it but he might do some special editing and uh Maybe ship me that thumb drive again, and I might upload those uh, uh, those Mothman videos on my channel. I don't know if you guys would like that, but I think it's going to be some pretty interesting content because I'll tell you, we just did that for one night. We went down there, met up, and it, I don't know, we hung out for like four hours that night <clears throat> down in the TNT area where the Mothman is, and... We had some pretty interesting stuff go down. I'm not, I'm, nothing I expected to happen. Uh, we found a, a geocache, which honestly I've never even, it's never even entered my mind to look for a geocache or even think about something like that. We literally stumbled upon it. Um, that's one thing. Another thing we, oh yeah, the uh, we had some like crazy cracked out meth. It's something for them to be up on the day it was. At the time, I mean, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning, and they pretty much, it was it was weird, man. Crazy stuff. They blocked us in on the road and, like, had to talk to me. So that was pretty interesting. And, uh, well, I don't want to give it all away, but uh, there's some really, really interesting stuff happened that night. I've just got to say that. Gabe wants to tell y'all anything. Yeah, there were crazy hillbillies, no doubt. And they were, they were pretty redneck. You guys think I sound like a redneck. If you guys see these, you might not get to see them. I think we kind of was hiding the camera, but you can definitely hear the conversation that we were having. And, uh, yeah, it was uh, it was something else. So, oh, uh -oh. just had a spill. Nope, that's not good. Hang on. I just spilled the whole chili out where I had it open already. Thought I had a good grip on it, squeezing it in there, and it fell out. So, there is our chili with beans. That's menu number 28. Now, you guys know I have that one, and it's already open. So, you guys, if you watched last, not last week, the week before stream, or was it last week? I don't know. They all run together. But, you know what was in the chili, because I did open that one up. Now, like, I, I, I did mention that I was going to open that package from Landel. We might do that towards the end, or I might save that for the beginning of the next live stream. I think that's my, <clears throat> that might be what I do. But his link to his channel is down there in the description, and he's been on YouTube for a minute. I, I'll bet you could go back probably what, I don't know how many years. Landel, you tell him how many years you've been on here, because I know it's been a minute. Uh, Rob Hoffman, I love the TNT area. Great times when I went. Oh, Rob, you've been to TNT, huh? That's cool, man. Yeah. All right, we got menu 23, chicken burrito bowl. Chicken burrito bowl and chili. We got uh, the jalapeno beef patty. I do remember someone requested the jalapeno beef patty at one point. Uh, there's the peanut butter and grape jelly. I'm going to skip over that one. That one's, I'm just going to save it for the kids. We got Asian-style beef strips. Whoa, hey! Berkshire 736 Berkshire man thanks for the uh for the super chat there man every I really appreciate every little bit like that adds up and it counts man I I really really appreciate that thank you thank you thank you uh I just had a brain fart I skipped over the, the peanut butter and jelly and the next one up was the Asian style beef strips I haven't had an Asian style beef strips in a long time and there's the Mexican-style chicken stew. This is a pretty... I know the main. Like, I don't know what else is in here, but I know the main. The main good, uh, pretty good meal, if I may say so myself. And then we got the lentil stew with ham, which I figure that's probably going to be pretty good, too. 
And we also have pinto stew with ham. I think these are probably um, MRE Star mains, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's who makes the pinto stew with ham and the uh, the lentils. I think they were with ham too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Lentil stew. So that might be a, a little bit more, a little, a little bit more runny. Uh, thank you, everyone, for saying thank you to, uh, I think, did I say Berkshire? Did I say that correctly? Berk, yeah, Berkshire. That's got to be British, right? <laughs> That's got to be a UK thing. Uh, we have Beef Taco, menu number 21. I'm going to have to get me another case of these guys because I saw uh, Gundog did a curry menu that looked really, really good. I saw, after I had that South African beef curry on rice... I have been craving that ever since. I know it's crazy, but I have been. I've been wanting to have me another one of them for ever since. So, Oh, there we have the pepperoni pizza. I might do a proper review of the pepperoni pizza just because people like to see the, uh, the pizza reviews. Because I am going to review at least one of these, maybe two. But it will be broken up in between a lot of time once I after I do one. And we also have a cinnamon bun, menu number three. This one's a, one of the smaller ones, but I know the calorie count's going to be there, so who knows what's in there. Hey, there's Chris. Chris Johnston, man. He was uh, he was actually my first Patreon member. And uh, if you guys don't know what that is, go check it out. It's, it's pretty cool. Not everything's open until you become a member, but it costs like a buck, I think, to become a member and straight up contact over there and uh i make posts over there about stuff i'm doing so yeah um what does maryland say i'll tell you what i'd like to see him bring back and that's corned beef hash that's like my dream menu to come back i would love to see mre nation start making their own corned beef hash to try to match the old recipe even Try to match the old crackers. Everything about that old meal. <clears throat> Putting a uh, chocolate-covered cookie up in there. Uh, some freeze-dried fruit. You know what I'm saying? Like, try to match that thing as, as much as possible. And, boy, I would be... Uh, I'd be one happy, happy camper. Oops, I hit the camera. Okay, so you guys seen the menus that I had. And, uh... What are y'all thinking? I just talked with him about that. Hey, Kalis! Whoa! Hey, uh, sorry I can't afford to do the Patreon... Hey, no, that's not, no, don't worry about that. Not a thing. Um, nobody needs to afford to do anything, honestly. Uh, that's just an option for people, man. I appreciate, I appreciate the time that you did spend over there. And also, thank you for the super chat, by the way. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, we got our, <clears throat> excuse me, we have our extras package here as well that has all this funky cool stuff which i might i don't know i'll probably save that and that thing is so heavy like you guys hear that it's like it's pretty heavy i think it says what it weighs 4.4 .4 ounces like that's over half of what a main a u.s main weighs because it usually weighs eight ounces we got a cheese spread a peanut butter another cheese spread man i wish that i got a cheese spread with jalapenos in there there's that hot sauce I gotta try out one of these true lemon things too. I don't know what I'll add that to, but uh, or which mains I have. And that true lime, man, I'm a lime lover. I love me some lime. Uh, oh, the chili and lime hot sauce, guys. This stuff right here is the bomb. So, Border of Chaos, if you're in Australia, mate, uh, just talked with MRE Nation, and they are they are okay. Yep, super chat. They are shipping to Australia. Okay, now you're really going to make me try to say that. Uh, yep, I'm not going to be able to do it. Naratu kick him. Naratu kick him. I think I said it close as I can. Naratu kick him. I tried the Asian beef strips on the road trip from Richmond to Anniston, Alabama, and they were really good. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the, uh, the super chat. So... You like the Asian-style beef strips. You know, I haven't had that one in a minute, for real. So, we had the Asian-style beef strips. We have taco. We have the cinnamon bun, which, that's not a very heavy meal. 
Oh, we got the Mexican style chicken stew, the jalapeno beef patty. Uh, um, that's the peanut butter and jelly. We got the lentil stew with ham, and we have the uh, pinto beans, I think it was, with ham. Pinto stew with ham, it says. Oh, and we have the chili. I forgot about the chili. So, Miss Marilyn says, I need to pick. And I'm trying to think if I want chili or not. Hmm. Asian style beef strips is sounding pretty good. I, got, I ain't gonna lie. Let me find it. Take me just a second. Which, I have a feeling... Because the U.S. screwed up beef taco so bad, I'll bet you MRE Nation fixed beef taco. I'm not going to guarantee it, but I'm going to say that they probably did. Oh, where'd it go? The Mexican style. Beef patty. There it is. There we go. So that's what we're we're going to go with the Asian style beef strips. Sounds good to me. And I'm going to keep this extra bag on hand because I do plan on using some stuff out of there, probably mostly like seasonings or hot sauces maybe. But who knows, might get everything that I need in here as well. So let's go through this and see what's up and then uh, I'll get onto that drawing. still work pretty good there's a look inside of there I've never smelled inside an MRE that smelled like these do because they're so new man you guys know I'm, I'm used to eating like I don't know like the newest stuff I usually eat is like four to five years old it's not uh, it's not packaged last I don't know two weeks ago or whatever so yeah there's that Okay, first off, we have a United States flameless ration heater. What's the date on this bad boy? Right there. Maybe? No, 214Z, that's, that's not the date. Stamped on it. Hmm. I'm going to guess it's 2018 because of that. Could be wrong, though. It feels and looks new. And look at that. That's, uh... You guys see that? We'll have to look at that. That looks like a new producer of pads in there. And we have the, uh... The traditional G. Schultz symbol up there. Hey, Karsten! Hey, dude! Thanks for the, uh... The crazy $20 super chat, my friend. Or, uh... German money. That would be, uh... Wow. I'm gonna have another brain fart right here. Live on... On camera, uh, yeah, German money. <laughs> $20 German money, yeah. Um, thanks, dude. Really appreciate that. Did you type anything in there? No, sir. Didn't type anything. And I forgot to turn on the do not disturb on my phone, and I'm getting text. Sticky Fingers just texted me. I don't know what he texted me, but uh, I'll check that later. We got our... Asian style beef strips and look at that. Eight one eight eight. I like eight I like seeing three eights like that. That's uh I don't know, I'm a numbers guy. That means good luck to me if you see three repeating numbers like that. And right here, guys, one of my favorite actually this is my favorite, hands down first strike, nutritious energy bar. From 2017, mm -hmm. the 60th day of 2017. Love them things, man. They Seriously, they're way better than all the other first strike bars. By far. And here we have an MRE trans fat free lemon poppy seed pound cake. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine words for one lemon poppy seed pound cake. <laughs> I love these things. I haven't had one of these. I haven't had a lemon poppy seed pound cake since I had, like, a, the last time I had an Eversafe. I think it was an Eversafe uh, civilian meal. And 
they had the they had the lemon poppy seed pound cakes on almost every menu except the chili. The chili had the uh, cornbread. Oh, cool. We got the long grain white rice. I'm just going to bust that up a little bit because this is uh, recently packaged. Let's see if I can get that date off the back of that. Just kind of knead it up a little bit. That way that heat can permeate through there properly. And when you go to dump it out, it doesn't look like a, a, a brick. Because that's usually how it comes out. This is the 19th day of 2018. So super fresh in uh, MRE standards. In my standards, really, really fresh. And here we have standard pack number two. 700 calories. And this contains what you guys can see right there. Cheese spread, peanut butter, strawberry jam, crackers, lemon drink. Lemonade drink and hot beverage bag. All right. Now, also, check this out. Blindside hooked me up with this knife. And uh, it's pretty awesome. It's a Gerber. I quick. Uh, it might be like a quick draw. I think it's something, something like that. And then I have the skiff set in here. That was sent in last time by R.A. Eeyore. And I did a little research on that. I missed it in the chat last time. But he was telling me that uh, Matt from over at Demolition Ranch actually bought that company. And I, well, I don't know if he said that in the chat. But I did do some research. And that is a super bad to the bone knife. This knife right here is super sharp as well. And uh, I'll break out the skiff as well. And use them both. This is kind of different. Press that button up for your uh, for your release, and then you just kind of flick your finger up there on the thumb tab to release it. Went straight in my pocket. Started. I, I use my knife like probably minimum a minimum of ten times a day. I mean, I use my knife. Smitty says, "Oh, cornbread. Cornbread is uh, really good." I obviously you probably know that. You probably had it in an IMP. <clears throat> it's the same thing, same cornbread as you guys have in the IMPs. Ah, oh, this is pink lemonade. That's a that's a treat. Figured I was going to have regular lemonade, but that I got me some pink lemonade. Got some cheese spread to go with the Asian style beef strips. Now we do have crackers instead of. Uh, I kind of would have rather had some tortillas. And I don't think I have any of those in the extras bag. And I don't think there's any in that chili that I have open. And there's our peanut butter. The peanut butter looks different. Let me see. Who made... Okay, Diamond. Diamond Crystal Brands Incorporated. Savannah, Georgia. That's down there in uh, Landles part of the country. And then we also have... The strawberry jam, which last time I had this, it was stinking amazing. Look at the date code on that. 275th day. Old Smokey and Steve eat rations every day as their only source of food. Or do they also cook? Uh, <laughs> if I ate rations every day, I would look like a, I'd look like a blimp. I would weigh 500 pounds. I do eat rations a good bit, though. I'll be honest probably a little more than what I should just because I like I don't know I like eating them <laughs> um, and I have a lot of uh, MREs and stuff sitting around so I do snack around on them a lot Steve does the same thing Steve eats a lot of uh, he eats a lot of MREs as well probably say the exact same thing that I'm saying so let's see what else we got in our accessory packet dump the whole thing out right there we got our spoon that has like sugar or something on it and now i'm getting notifications from slack over there that's not good because that's going to be oh i can turn them off okay hang on there's my spoon i know i brought my other phone in here i thought i did yeah i did here we go good deal you guys give me just one second while i go turn off the notifications um, I talked to K-Man. K-Man thought uh, he might stop by this live stream too. Uh, huge part of the starting of this whole trend of the MRE. Uh, how, you know, how MREs are cool to you guys and us. 
all of us. Uh, if it wasn't for K Man starting up MRE dot com, you know, MREinfo.com, I don't think it would be anywhere near where it's at right now. Just my personal opinion. And do not disturb. Okay, got it. Sorry about that, guys. I just thought uh, you guys wouldn't want to hear my phone vibrating and uh, getting notifications there. Now, I can't do the do not disturb for the text. Look at that thing. That's literally like a balloon. I don't, I don't know what's up with that. It's almost like it's been at high altitude or something, or there was a big change in, in pressure or altitude. Interesting. And then the spoon. Here we have the moist towelette. We also have a package of salt and pepper. One package of cane sugar by Regal Foods. Also a package of... Oops, I had them right to begin with. Smarties. How many calories is in that little package of Smarties? Like, probably 25, 30, maybe. We have a deep, rich instant coffee. If I was to complain about one thing in this whole thing, that'd probably be it right there. I, uh, I'm not a huge fan of the deep, rich. I even go, like half or less of the water recommended and I still feel like it's just not it's not strong enough and there is the cafe delight hey MRE info thanks for being here um I'm looking to see K man might be here oh yeah he is there he is hey all right man that's awesome dude glad you made it man like I said, uh, it's kind of we kind of build up a little family here to these live streams that I do, and a lot of reoccurring viewers, and there will be also be a lot of folks that dip in and dip out for you know however long they're here, and usually I don't know about a thousand folks stop by within the uh, hour and a half to two hours that I'm on here, so it's it's definitely a, a good passage through of folks to uh, talk to, and just really good people, man, really good people here, so. There's everything, and I do have some coffee, and I'll tell you why I have so much of this extra coffee instant type 2 is because Salty Crock Collectibles, I bought a couple boxes off of him, and he sent me um, all kinds of extra coffee instant type 2, and I love this stuff, so it's it's great to have, man. Oh, and I saw uh, Dan is here, Cyanide Cookies. He should be getting his box this week. I'm super excited for Dan to get his box, and uh, that should be that should be this this coming week. And by next weekend, we we'll get to see what he thinks about the box that I sent over to him. So, put a lot of thought and a lot a lot of cool stuff in there. Okay, now I'm going to tray this stuff up, and after I do that, I'm going to do the drawing. And uh, we'll go from there. Doing this stuff live is is different. I mean, I'm not going to lie because it don't get to uh, you just it's complete. It's like night and day. Of course, there's no editing going on or anything to that nature. Get that out of the way. So anything that happens just stays in the live stream. Got strawberry jam and peanut butter. That'll go with one of these crackers, probably. And there's our drink. Probably put my rice up here. Pound cake over here. And there we go. We got our drink bag. I'm probably going to go ahead and try to use that this time. I don't know how much water does this take. 12 ounces? Yeah, we can do that. Now, there, I'm going to keep my hot sauce here on standby. Spoon, salt, pepper. Got the uh, really cool MRE Nation cup. And we got our sugar, creamer, and coffee. And I'm going to use that. 
I'm going to use the deep rich and I'm going to throw this coffee instant type 2 in there. I'm going to use both. Um, it's not going to be too strong. I can promise you that. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, not do that right yet. Duh. I'm doing the drawing right now. I got everything trained up. Let's do this. Now, the way I, I did this this time, my backboard's not staying up there. Hang on just one second. There we go. Now, all the names that were left over from last time, I said that they were going to be in the drawing this time, and there they are. I'm not going to go through them all. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to fold these in fours. That way they don't stick together. I had that problem last time. And uh, now, right here, got this brand new hat. I haven't even got to wear it yet. It's a Cincinnati Reds hat. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these piles right here. These are the piles from the last two weeks. I'm gonna fold them up real quick and throw them in there. Usually I read off the names. Uh, one was blindside, one was wandering marine vet. It's blindside again. And blindside again. Blindside blew it up on this live stream. I think he, uh, I don't know, I think there was six from him this this time. And uh, also, yeah, I, I hooked blindside up with a uh, with an ORP the other day. But uh, he's hooked me up with all kinds of crazy cool stuff. I need to need to hook him up with some more stuff. I need to just build a box of, of coolness for him. And I got one started for Miss Marilyn also. And uh, if I could, I would send each and every single one of you guys a box of goodies. I really seriously would. And maybe, eventually, that'll be, uh, that'll be possible. Hey, there's Dan. My smoky sense is tingling. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's a cool. That's cool, man. Thanks for the uh, crazy super chat there, man. Uh, you guys, again, man. You know you don't have to do that, dude. I really, really do appreciate you, man. And uh, glad that you. Uh, well, you're on night shift right now, so you must have just got off of work, is what I'm going to guess, because someone did say that it is morning in good old Australia. I bet it's hotter than blazes over there by now. Oh man, I meant to keep saying names. There's Kalis Enoch. And, uh, hey, Blindside, for the cause, did you get to, uh, try the Mothman? Oh, yes. That's gonna be a drink added to this meal. I forgot about that. It's in the refrigerator, and, uh, I put it in there to get nice and cold. Uh, Jason J, also, going through the names, and I'm glad you reminded me of that, because I, honestly, I had totally forgot. Oh, yeah, all right, Eeyore. If I missed anybody, I'm going to feel bad. Um, K-List again. I'm probably grabbing the same one. Miss Marilyn. Uh, I think that's just about it from that one. Now I'm going to go back to the ones that I have left over and fold up a grouping of them. And then I'll mix them up. That one was uh, Nathan. Stickney. Uh, I cannot say that. I, I think I saw Devalanut. I think I saw Devalanut over on MREinfo.com when I signed in there. And uh, thanks again for that uh, super chat, man. Note cooling down real quick, but yeah. I'm going to guess it's 103.3. Well, you don't go by Fahrenheit over there, do you? You're a Celsius guy. So it was 10.3 Celsius, I'm going to guess. There's R.I.E. Eeyore. I'm into pain. There should have been an I'm into pain in that other stack that I just put in there as well. Uh, Jenny Sporles. Did I say that correctly? S-P-O-R-L-E-S. Sporles. Hopefully I said that correctly. Uh, there's Miss Marilyn. I just saw Miss Marilyn's name pop up. Because she's a moderator. Her name pops up blue on my screen. So, kind of sticks out a little bit. Joe Petro. Now, that's an easy one for me to say. 
Uh, there's Nathan again. Nathan Stickney. 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 Nathan Stickney. Nate. I still have trouble with that one. My redneck dialect. Lord Grotesque. Fold it up correctly. So yeah, uh, whoever wins these two that I'm getting ready to pull, and there's Miss Marilyn again, you guys will contact me through my email, and then I will set you up with another contact that you'll contact on Monday that will give you a code for your winnings. And there's Miss Marilyn again. Yeah, this is this folding it four ways is much better. Now I'm going back over to the uh, other live stream. This I think this one might be from last week. And there's Karsten. Or no, this one's from the week before. Because I don't think Karsten could make it last week. So this would have been uh, not last week, but the week before. And there's Nathan Stickany again. And I think I have three from Nathan. Nope, I have two from Nathan in a row right here. Nathan again. And there's Sarah Kroll. I think I said that properly. I know this takes a few minutes, guys, but every one of these people, they deserve some recognition. Wondering Marine Vet, absolutely. You guys um, you guys are insanely generous. And uh, all right, Eeyore, if you guys got YouTube channels, man, I'll be more than happy to put them down in my description. I try to send people to my description to check out MRE channels. I've got a pretty good list built, and I just keep on adding to it. And there is all right, Eeyore. All right, Eeyore is going to be a new addition to the list. If it's not in there now, it should be. I think it is. Oh, yeah. So my post, it just I just got a notification from uh, YouTube. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to plug this in because the battery is going to go dead on me. Just got a notification from YouTube that said I have seven likes on the post that I made yesterday, I think. Usually, I, if I make a post 24 hours before, I usually get anywhere between 20 to 25 30 likes or so and you know a, a, a good handful of comments and there's miss Marilyn again great big huge donation on that one again i gotta i gotta hook miss Marilyn up at the box regardless of whether she wins or not that uh like i said i've already got one started so yo smoke uh robbie murin yo smoke i can't stay i gotta go to work but i saw the notification hey everybody hey thanks man for stopping by before work man and uh try not to work too hard have a Good, safe night at work, man. And there's Kalist again. And we got uh, two in a row from Jason J. Jason J. I actually, uh, Miss Renee kept a list for me of everyone that donated. And I just, it made it a lot easier for me to write the names down. So I'm using Miss Renee's list to uh, to write those names down that I just did there. And there we have Gail Korfman. Man, look how full that hat's getting. Look at that. It's getting pretty full. Uh, cyanide Cookies, which is our buddy Dan over in good old Australia. Pity's Mom. Did I say that right? Pity's Mom. Pity's Mom. And that's Miss Gina. I just sent Miss Gina a box. She should have it probably Tuesday, I would say. Um, took a minute to figure out what we was going to do on, uh, for her since she was up there in Canada. I think, no, that was Kalist. Kalist is in Canada. Miss Gina got hers. Yeah, Miss Gina got hers. There's Karsten. Good old Karsten over in Germany. So, and there's Nathan again. Nathan went crazy. I, I, I'm sending Nathan a couple things as soon as we can figure out, uh, where to send a truck driver stuff. <laughs> and then we got All Right Eeyore. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, Nathan definitely deserves... He even passed on his winnings last whenever I did the last drawing. And, uh, like, that was super generous of him. So, definitely going to hook him up regardless. Even though he did pass on his winnings. And there's Miss Sarah Kroll. Now, I'm going to mix these up really good because they were a little bit... Uh, out of order and there's all right eeyore the last one to fold in four to fold over well i guess fold twice i'm gonna light up a smoke and uh smoke a little bit of a smoke while i do this all right here we go get them mixed up real good
guess I could, uh, I could even put the camera around so you guys could see that I'm looking the other way, but I think you guys trust me well enough. All right. <laughs> Look at this. It even still did it folded in fours. I don't know what I'm going to do about this, this issue that I'm having, but all right, I'm turning around, grabbing my smoke. Whoa, hold up. There's Sarah Kroll again. The live, uh, love the live stream. Need a pail, I think. <laughs> I don't understand what you mean. Need a pail. Need a pail. I'm going to try to understand. Maybe I should read back. Super too bore dated. Um, bought a rifle today. Wow. Nice. Got an M1 carbine today. Okay. Now I got sidetracked. Thank you, Miss Sarah. Really appreciate you for the uh, for the ten dollar donation there. All right, I got them all mixed up. I'm gonna try my best just to pull one to begin with. And I do. I've got this one. Who do we have? Wondering Marine Vet one. Look at that. And I think he was giving away MREs. I don't know if he's still doing that, but if y'all go over to Wondering Marine Vets Facebook page. I don't have Facebook, or I, I I don't know anything about it. He just said that. So if you guys go check out his Facebook page, he was giving away MREs over there. Uh, maybe you do your first YouTube review. I think that was the deal. You had to make a video with it, something like that. I don't know. You can figure it out. You guys probably got Facebook and know all about it. So congratulations, Mr. Wondering Marine Vet. Mix these up a little more. He's been a loyal viewer. Did he, uh, is he here? I don't even know if he's here. I know he uh, replied on my... He was one of the ones that got the notification because he replied on there. Sebastian, hold up, dude. Alright. Turned around here. Do I have just one? I think I do. Dan! In Australia! <laughs> Alright, Dan. I'm going to pull somebody else since I just sent you a box, okay? But we'll figure something out. I just sent Dan a box to Australia like Monday. So. Here we go. All right, Eeyore is our other winner. And I'll, I'll like I said, I'll, we'll figure something out on, on yours, Dan. But. MRE Nation has shipping to Australia. So we got All Right Eeyore and Wondering Marine Vet. And I'm going to take care of Dan with out of my pocket. Now, you guys, Wondering Marine Vet, All Right Eeyore, you guys get a <clears throat> you guys get a hold of me through my email, and I will hook you up with the contact that is going to send you over to uh that it's going to send you guys for your winnings, and that'll be Monday. Uh, I missed a super chat. Let me go back here. Holy crap, Outdoor Tactical. I don't know what that is. Next time, this cap should be bigger. Oh, yeah, <laughs> my hat. Yeah, you got a good point, dude. It's just about to overflow. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, I think that's Rubles. Is that Rubles? R-U-B? Rubles? 650 Rubles? I have no idea what that translates to. Maybe uh, you guys can probably tell me better. I would have to check it. Well, thank you for the super chat, though, my friend. I really appreciate that, man. Oh, yeah. He's not in my description, but y'all can clip. Uh, y'all can click on Outdoor Tactical. I know at one point, I think he was doing reviews in Russian with English subtitles. It, correct me if I'm wrong, but that we need more stuff like that. We need more Russians doing reviews. Or uh, maybe even doing them in English with Russian subtitles sometimes and vice versa. I think that's something that you were doing. So really, really appreciate that, man, Outdoor Tactical. And uh, thank you so much. <laughs> you, you guys realize what I did, don't you? I should have thrown the rice and the Asian beef strips into... I should have thrown them into the FRH. But yeah, uh, Dan, me and you uh, will talk. Hey, ho, hey, there's a sign I cookie. Nothing to take care of anymore. More than happy that R.I.E.O.R. got the draw. 
No, man. No, 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 no. That ain't how this is going to work. Uh, like I said, they, they have already got... They've got the Australian shipping worked out. He told me that today, so... Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you something from MRE Nation. I'll, so, yeah. I'll be happy to do that, man. So, we ended up with, <clears throat> we ended up with three winners this week. Dan is still a winner. Because, uh, I, I, I don't know why I didn't think about it at the time. But, uh, let me get the flameless ration heater going first. What, what happened to the flameless ration heater? Oh, I grabbed it with the bag and set it aside. Duh. So what am I going to do here? Let me get off the old skiff knife. I like cutting off the top of these. That way I have as much bag to work with as possible. And getting out this awesome skiff. This thing is mega sharp. And it's a sharp look. I mean, that is a sharp knife. I mean, it's sharp looking and it's sharp. And it's also quite large. Again, with this Gerber right here, look at the size difference. It's a this is a big knife, but I noticed whenever like whenever I pulled it out, the first first thing I noticed was how well balanced it is. It's really really well balanced. It, the, the center of gravity on this thing is spot on, and I'm so used to frame locks that it's really taken me something to uh, to get used to this button on the Gerber. Hey, B Temple's made it. I knew B Temple had something going on tonight, and uh, you guys you guys got to go check out his channel. I got a package from him that's going to be probably in the next live stream, but I'm definitely making a video with it as well, so I don't know if I'll ruin it in the live stream or not. We'll see, but that's, that's actually the next thing that I'm filming. Probably... I want. I may be able to film tomorrow, but I doubt it. I doubt I'll get to. Well, that thing does not want to open. Weird. I'm just not used to handling things that are so new. Uh, Luxfer Magtech. That's the first time I've ever seen that on the. Uh, on the pads and they don't stink either there's our G Schultz on the back get our Asian style beef strips we got the US uh, inspected crap on the bottom inspected and passed the Department of Agriculture I mean that's not that that's a bad thing it's just another government entity Now, there's no way I can get the rice in here, too, guys. No possible way. Now, stick the stuff down in there. Let me find my water. Where's it at? There it is. Okay. Get us filled up to the fill line. And then I might go boil that rice just because I want that rice to be good and hot. Or I can lay... I'll try laying it on the other side of the flameless ration heater first. A little bit more. Alright. Oops. Sorry about that. I'm good at uh, knocking on the camera. See what I mean? Like, look, I've only got that much bag above. And that's only... It's not a very big fold. I'm just gonna say the uh, the flame the U.S. flameless ration heaters are getting smaller and it's already getting hot. I'm gonna try to do a double fold. No, gotta do it the other way, right? Uh, we'll do it this. Way. Yeah, to keep it closed, it's gotta be this way, right? I want it the other way. You also kind of want to massage that water into the... Oh, my goodness. Whoa. This is going to be a violent one. There it goes. Yeah, you massage that water up into them elements, and boom! It's a taking off. 
Yeah, buddy. Now, I think I have my element on the bottom side right there. Yeah, I'm going to go throw... I'm having a hard time getting it open. And I know... People, look at the steam coming out of that. I'm just wasting heat, though. Uh... People say that these things do not need air. And and I know technically they're not supposed to. And they do not need air or oxygen, supposedly, to work. But my experience is if you have one that is not working, you open it up, squeeze that water around in a little bit, let it get some air, and it'll take off. So, all right, I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to heat this rice up and, and I'm going to boil it. <coughs> Because if you've ever had MRE rice, you know it's best boiled. And if I'm, uh, if I'm going anywhere out in the field, I'm going to have me a good canteen cup and also my pocket stove. So I'm going to be able to boil whatever I want. That's, uh, that's something I kind of stick to. Let me go back through the chat a little bit. Babies are fun. Number two is interesting. Our little guy is now two months old, Smitty. Um, try to pay a little bit of attention to the uh, to the chat if I can, as much as I can. Man, that thing's super hot. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll wipe the tray off a little bit. I have an Oh, nope. I was going to say it's an unbranded one, but it is branded. All right, it's coffee time. Now, usually I would use my Bob, Ro Bob Ross mug, which you guys can see Bob kind of shining through there. I mean, usually, I mean, you can't see him very much, but it's a little warm. Let's check out this, this creamer. This is non-dairy creamer, so it should hold up. For a nice long time for you. So there's our creamer. Our regal cane sugar. Now I'm going to put the... Uh, like I said, I'm going to put the Deep Rich and a Type 2 in there, just because. There's our Deep Rich. And here's our Type 2. You guys can be able to see a big difference. Look at the difference in that. Boy, that, that Type 2 is uh, about twice as dark as the Deep Rich. Yeah, if I was going to change one thing in these, that would probably be it. And uh, probably going to have the same experience with the crackers being a little bit uh, overly vacuum sealed. I know Gundog had that issue. G. Schultz had that issue. I've had that issue. I think uh, they need to dial it down a notch, or maybe two even, because it's definitely... Uh, it's 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 definitely vacuum and sealing things to the extreme. So guys, you don't want to miss next week's live stream. I got some uh, some B units from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Well, we got B units and uh, some peanut butter. Maybe got a jam. I'm gonna do a whole cup since I'm doing two coffees. I'm gonna do eight ounces of water. And this is mega, mega hot water. There we go. But yeah, I uh, I think next week's live stream is going to be pretty good. I've got, uh, like I said, I've got all those leftover rations, but I also have stuff. That R.I.E. or sent in. I've got stuff that uh, Blindside sent in. I've got uh, a box sitting here unopened from a Landle sent in. 
so we're not lacking on things to check out on the live streams so we'll be just doing those in succession and doing as much as we want and as much as we can i had one mre before one of the friends i was dating in the military man and he sent some sent home a meal with her for me i have the package still menu 12 pin a with vegetable sausage crumbles and spicy sauce sub tube you need it sounds like you need a new mre <laughs> i think uh i think we can probably make that happen man i think uh if you liked it enough to where you kept the package i think i think you're in the right spot now i think you're out you're on the right youtube channel all right next up we're going to check out my favorite first strike bar and that's the cran raspberry like miss maryland sent in 24 of these uh i sent in i think it was supposed to be 12 ended up being 13 i've already eaten all the 13 hey sean uh does that say Mc oh mcnamara hey man thanks so much for the uh for the super chat there my friend that is actually a new name to me, I think. Maybe I've heard it on here once before. But thank you so much for the super chat. Is this a small bar? This is not a small bar. This is a full-size bar, but look at that. It's like very oddly shaped. It's kind of a more bigger around. It should be about, about that wide and about that long. So, But it's all there. The 2.2 ounces is there. It's just funny shaped. Next up, we are going to, let's do, oh yeah, I said I was going to use this thing, so let's do this. Let's use the, uh, we're going to use the uh, beverage bag to make our lemonade in, and it takes 12 ounces of lemonade. I went to uh, school with a boy named Ian McNamara. Oh no, Ian McNamara. Ian McNamara. Wow, we wrestled together. I only wrestled my ninth and tenth grade year. I ended up moving. So, Wahama didn't have a wrestling team whenever I started going there, and I think they started one my. Well, my, when I was a senior, uh, but I I didn't... Actually, I went back to Galpolis. I don't know. Long story. Long story. Um, remember what I'm doing here. I don't need hot water. I know that. <laughs> I guess hot lemonade's good. If you guys Have you guys ever seen the song uh, Hot Kool-Aid? If you guys haven't seen that, Whenever we get off of here, type in Hot Kool-Aid and watch a lot of that guy's videos because they are super funny. My kids used to love watching their videos, and they got me hooked on them as well. I can't remember what their channel name is, but they were super funny, though. Uh, let's see. 12 ounces is what we need here. And that's what we got. On the dot, I'm going to mix it properly what it says to put in it that way it's going to taste the way it's supposed to taste a lot of times i like to use less water and make it a little more strong a little more sweet all that plenty of room in there in that bag for the 12 ounces that's for sure that's always good to see these are nice beverage bags and you can see there's a little bit of that sugar it's still in the bottom right there give it a good shake up there okay i'm just gonna leave it in that bag and i'm gonna drink it from this bag set it right here in view Still see the MRE Nation Cup. We got our salt and pepper on standby. Now, let's get these crackers opened up because we got, got some stuff we need to do with them. Half tempted to go pull some tortillas out of the pantry. 
Oh, there was a hiss. Didn't even think about it till I had, till it had already happened. Hmm. Yep. So you got to kind of surgically remove these from their package. And you see what's going on there? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I'm going to have to make another cut. Oh, you know what? I'll be back. Got to get the rice. Totally forgot about it. Okay, got the rice. It feels lighter now for some reason. I don't, not it came out of there or anything. It didn't explode. Looks good. Hmm. I'm gonna set it on top of that lemon poppy seed pound cake though. Now, did I make the other cut? Maybe. Almost. Got a little bit more to cut right, right there. Did I get it? Okay, there it is. There we go. Literally performing cracker package surgery. <laughs> they are quite crumbly because of the uh, the over pressurized vacuum seal. It's all good though. They're just going to probably get the... Uh, they're obviously going to get chewed up, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, now... Mm, I'm going to dig out some old smokes, too, probably for the next live stream. Um, I'll be honest. I've got a, I've got a bunch of them that are put up that I haven't seen in <clears throat> probably like a year or so, and uh, it'll be kind of interesting to get some out and see see how they're holding up. And there's a. Uh, Kind of messed up peanut buddy. <laughs> Let's see if I can fix him a little bit. There we go. That's better. Peanut buddy. Now some of the strawberry jam is going to go on peanut buddy. I'm just going to give him a mustache. Look at the color of that. That's so awesome. Yeah, that's really nice. I love the uh, fresh strawberry jam. It's really, really good. I'll go ahead and open the cheese spread. I'll give it one more knead. Last time I had a cheese spread out of one of these, I was really surprised because I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not usually very big on the uh, the standard cheese spread, but for some reason, I really liked the cheese spread. I guess freshness, like I said before really does play a, a big factor in the uh, palatability the palatability of these uh, certain items like the cheese spread now, uh, now, I'll just get a little piece of cracker <laughs> now I'm gonna make a uh, And I was going to attempt to make a cheese head, but I'm just going to make a cheese cracker. <laughs> Look at that. Super yellow. 120 calories in that one. I don't know how many calories is total in this one. If I was to guess, I would say probably 1,600, 1,700 calories probably. 
I'm going to, that's, that's my, that's my guess. Let's check out this. Hang on. We'll check out the rice. And I'm going to put half of it, or not half. I'm going to put some here. And I'm going to put the rest here. There we go. Is that a, how many grams is that package of rice? 5.3 ounces, it's a 150 gram pouch of long grain white rice. Yum, yum. That's actually pretty warm, which is a good thing. Oh my goodness, that is hot. Yikes. The Asian style beef strip should be nice and warm because this flameless ration heater is great. Look at the steam coming off of that. Ow, it's burned me. Yikes. I don't know if you guys can see the steam coming off of that or not, but I can. And I'm getting water all over the place. Yeah. Now, whenever I open these, I usually like to just take my take my knife, make a nice little start on the top. Instead, because I'm not going to use this like a bowl since I've got a tray here. Put some of this over here. And then the rest is going over the rice. Oh man, that looks really good. Mmm, it smells really good too. Yeah. I'm not going to let any of that get away, but I cannot touch the pouch. It is that hot. That metal will cool off pretty quick, but... Mm. Yeah, that's definitely warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Now we're going to get started. I think I've got everything. Nope, sorry. You know what? Maybe I should leave that in there so it'll stay a little more warm. I'll leave the poppy seed pound cake in there until it's time. Time for it to get devoured. So, looks like we got, what is that, bamboo shoots there? got some water is that water chestnuts yeah water chestnuts we got a really nice thick brown gravy give just a i just want to try one of these bamboo shoots got a little piece of the beef strip in there down the hatch <laughs> hmm. that is pretty interesting they have a a unique flavor can't put my finger on it though. What? How to describe that? Kind of earthy. Bob is here. Hey, all right. Glad Bob's here. I assume you guys are talking about Black Dog Bob, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. So, if you guys got any questions, uh, Bob would be the one to answer them, that's for sure. Um, just cracking into this Asian-style beef strips here, man. And uh, maybe I should just try the rice on its own back here while it's still nice and hot. All right, here we go, properly down the hatch. Hmm. I like that. As far as rice goes, that's really good. Really nice, clean flavor of white rice. Light, fluffy. It's not like a brick like most rice that you get out of an MRE is. This right here. I mean, as you can see, this is better than you get at an Asian restaurant even usually. Because usually it's been sitting around and... That right there is like fresh cooked rice that you cook for yourself. Now I gotta have one of these water chestnuts on their own. Those bamboo shoots have a really nice texture, but the gravy is where most of the flavor comes from. They have sort of an earthy flavor. That's about all, all I can do to describe it. 
this gravy is really rich, creamy, savory, um, beef flavored brown gravy. Mmm. Love, love, love the texture of these water chestnuts. They are, I don't know, one of my favorite things. They have a really nice crunch to them. Kind of like a, almost like a melon type of crunch. It's really nice. Then you got your red peppers in there, your red bell peppers. Probably, I'm going to guess that's a green bell pepper in there. Going with the Asian. I'm just going for a bite of everything. I got some water chestnuts, some pepper, bamboo shoots, and some beef and rice. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look awesome. Because I, I think it looks awesome. Mm. Really hot. Even though I boiled that rice, I can't tell which one's hotter. That flameless ration heater did an amazing job. Which, as you guys know, isn't always the case. They don't always work that well. Well, that one worked really, really well. Now i got to have some cracker with this. I do think that uh, tortillas would have been pretty good with this. But now seeing... How many bamboo shoots and stuff are in this? This is good. Just eating it on its own like this. Mm. It's really hot. Really hot. When you get it all mixed together, you really do get that feeling that you're eating like an Asian dish. All those flavors just mashing together. And it's not overly salty, which uh, a lot of times your, your MRE mains will be really salty. So I'm going to add a little bit of this salt to it. I'm going to put some up there just on that plain rice by itself because I plan on eating that just the way it is. I'm also going to doctor it up with some pepper. Oh, I'll tell you something else next live stream I'm going to do. Um, today I rounded up all the pocket knives that I've gotten over the last, I don't know how many months I've been doing this since the live streams and stuff started. And, uh, well, ever since, actually, I think every knife that's been sent to me. And uh, I'm going to go through them next live, live stream and uh, kind of thank everybody that sent one in. Just kind of look at the whole collection. Because I've got quite a collection. I think I've got about probably 12 or 13. Now, this I'm going to have to be a little careful. Because it is, it's got a lot of air in it. Hopefully it doesn't squirt out of there. Ugh. Oh, there, there it went. I'm going to have to cut it there. Got it. There we go. Now some hot sauce. Where am I going to put the hot sauce? Let me just get a bite on the on here. Now that has salt, pepper, and now hot sauce. Now I have that extras bag right here as well that I could uh, pull out some hot sauce or anything. That, that lime, that would probably be pretty good on this. Mm. Wow. It's like a whole different like a whole different dish now i'm not even joking it's like night and day really bursting with flavor the hot sauce got a little bit of that vinegar going on but it's also got a really nice flavor to it i am a fan i mean it doesn't have much heat to it but it does have a good flavor a nice pepper flavor 
Give it a nice healthy dose of that. Mm-hmm. Trying not to uh, chew in your all's ear. Yeah, you guys. If you uh, if you don't know, Bob's got uh, a lot, if not everything, to do with MRE Nation, and uh, the reason we're doing this video right now. So definitely huge thanks to Bob and and MRE Nation. Because uh, so far, man, I've, I've been nothing but impressed with uh, with the quality, the quantity, everything that's involved in this. It's uh, it is a step above your standard U.S. military MREs, and there's not not too many civilian MREs that I would pick over a military ration, and this is one of them. the company's meals in, in general. <clears throat> it's really good, William. Really good. I you know I don't have one complaint yet. Other than maybe the crackers were a little overly vacuum sealed, but They'll hold up forever. Mmm. That rice now, with a little bit of that salt, really brought it to life. Mmm. I'm mixing it all in with this rice right here. Actually... I ain't gonna lie, like, I'm serious, I'm hungry. Really hungry. Mmm. Somebody asking about something glowing in the dark. I'm looking at the chat. Now this is a type 2 mixed with the uh, deep rich. But I was able to make a full cup by doing it this way. I did 8 ounces. In the... Uh, I dig this cup. I really do. It's really different compared to uh, anything else I've really seen. I'm going to save that coffee for the cake and uh, peanut butter and jelly later. I do want to try this cheese and see if that was just a fluke last time or if uh, this is really that much better than what I usually think it is. Mm. It's rich, creamy, tangy, cheesy. Mm. <laughs> it's really good. I'm usually, like I said, I'm not usually a, a regular cheese spread kind of guy, but something about a fresh cheese spread, I guess. It's really doing it for me. I'm going to try that mixed in there. Mmm. Well... That works, but I'm enjoying the flavor of this so much that I don't really think I want that cheese spread over. It's kind of overpowering. I mean, it <clears throat> it is creamy and very cheesy, and it it brings a whole other dimension to this main. But it's so good on its own that I'm not going to add 
the cheese to it. I'm just going to eat cheese on a cracker. Separate from the main. J and K noob just placed a just placed an order, man. Awesome. Did you use the uh, OS10 uh, code to get your get your uh, old smoky discount there? I hope you did. That also lets MRE Nation and Bob know that you guys are coming from my channel and ordering from him, and that really uh that's good for everybody. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Cheese spread, yum yum. Mmm. I'm not just talking this up, man. Seriously. On these live streams, y'all know that I tell y'all what, what exactly how I'm feeling at the time. If I have a really bad meal or something sometimes that I'm reviewing, it's happened maybe twice. I just, if it's really bad, I just won't even upload it. Nobody wants to see bad food or bad um, opinions of things. Now, if it's something that's old that's went bad, that's a different story. You know what I mean? But if it was just a poorly made or poorly built meal, then uh, sometimes people just don't want to see those types of reviews. You know what I mean? On the live stream, you get what you get. It's either good and I really like it, or it's not so good. That HDR wasn't bad, but it wasn't great either. <laughs> Which it was nine years old. Mm. Oh man, all right, Eeyore. Put a $230, man, that would have saved you 23 bucks. Daggone it. Guys, it's right there in the very top of my description. Click on the description, you guys will see the discount code. It, I, I put it put it in there before I started this, uh, before I started this live stream. Eeyore. I was going to say, uh, Bob might comment on that. He might let you uh, cancel your order if you just did it and uh, redo it. I'm sure that's something they can probably manage. I'm sure it's not something to be too easy, but it's probably manageable. That's a pretty large order, my friend. But Eeyore, you're a winner. Mm. You were a winner. You should have waited. Oh. Thanks for reminding me, Blind Sod. Thanks for the uh, $10 donation. Be right back, you guys. I totally forgot about it again. All right. So, what Blindside has been referring to is ye old Mothman IPA. Black IPA. Do I have a... Yeah. Let's look at what this looks like out of the can as well. I'll, uh... Let's see if I got a... Oh, yeah, I got a little glass right here. A little one. There we go. Also got the uh, hot sauce from Dan... Right here on standby. I was kind of wanting something kind of spicy. See this little glass that I picked up? It's it's little. Oh yeah, that's that's good and dark. Let's see if I can pour it without getting a big old head on it.
here we go. I'm just going to set it right there where the rice was. And give it a smell. Ooh. Kind of has a tangy, earthy, green, hopsy type of scent. All right. Here we go. The uh, Black IPA. Down the hatch. Thanks, Bob, for uh, for stopping by the uh, live stream, man. Hey, G. Schultz is here. Uh, Kenton was here uh, over at MREinfo.com. Bob's been here, man. All kinds of folks have been here tonight. Getting ready to uh, take a... I'm going to take a big old swig of this IPA that Blindside hooked me up with. Gave me a six-pack of these things. Six of these, and he hooked me up with this Gerber knife that I showed you guys. <sighs> All right, here we go. Down the hatch. That gave me cold chills. Man, that is strong. Really strong. Oh, it's um, it's got a bitter follow-up, I would have to say. Very strong hops flavor. Whew, man, is it... Oh, it's bitter. It's really hitting my palate hard. Wow. My eyes are watering. <laughs> yeah. I can drink Bud Light all day long, but this is no light beer, guys. This is, I mean, I can drink Budweiser all day long. This is no, this is not a regular, look how dark that is. This is a black IPA, and it is, <clears throat> Well, I kind of took the edge off, though. I'll tell you what, I got a little bit of a rush from that. I got to keep eating, though. Got to keep eating this. Did I? I didn't spill beer in that, did I? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I did. I don't know. I don't think so, though. Mm. Just want to keep eating this while it's still warm. I think that is a, uh, I think that is a pepper. One thing about this is there's plenty of meat. If you're a meat eater and you like meat, I've been able to have a good sized chunk of meat in every single bite that I've taken. And still got enough to go around for this last two or three bites here. You know what I mean? Those bamboo shoots and the water chestnuts. They add a ton of texture to this. That super savory gravy. Mmm. I'm starting to get full. I want a bite of just meat and rice. I think it's been like a year since I had uh, the beef strips. I don't remember it being this good. But the one I ate was probably four years old. Or older. Probably four years old. I would say. I think the last one I had was early 2018. And it was probably a 2014. 
probably from my case of 2014s, I would say. <laughs> what? Guinness can frig basketball full of offs, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> that's, that's funny to read out loud. <laughs> so this is the Asian style beef strips. That would be uh, that would go good with a beer, yeah. That's what I was thinking too. Um, I, I didn't like plan it out that way, but it did turn out that way. And I drank half of that in like one little chug, and I don't drink, like I really don't. And uh, the most drinking you guys will see me doing, or the, that I do is here on the channel. Like I'll drink every every now and again. And I'll do it to clean out, like, my kidneys and liver. Because I've had a lot of medications going through my body. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of, uh, I don't know, like, antibiotic. Just all kinds of stuff. And every once in a while, I think it's good to have a couple beers to flush out my kidneys and liver. And just my insides, you know what I mean? Let that alcohol clean me out. I know it can't hurt. It definitely can't hurt me. I feel like it, it does do me good afterwards, so that's why every once in a while I'll have a, excuse me, I'll have a couple beers or maybe even a few shots or something. I've never been able to drink like wine or anything, you know what I mean? I just, I don't know, just something's never been on my radar Now it's time for some uh, peanut butter, I think. Before I do that, I want to try out this uh, pink lemonade real quick. Give it a try. That's exactly what I expected. It's sweet and tangy. Got that lemonade, pink lemonade flavor. Um, it's not anywhere near as artificial crap as you get. I'm just not a huge fan. I'm sorry. I'm just not a huge fan of the uh, of the U.S. beverage bases because they over dye them insanely too much. Like they just go overboard with the dye. And I do have all this this whole extras pack here too, and uh, mm. you guys, give me one second. I saved something from the last time that I was in the extras pack, and I'm sure it's still just fine. And since we have that lemon poppy seed pound cake, we're going to be uh, adding some of this creamy vanilla icing. I don't have a lot of it left, but enough, enough. I have enough. And then, uh, again, the extras pack. We got a thing of toothpaste, toothbrush. Got that big thing you can shower with, the lemon and the lime. I forgot about that stuff. I probably would have, <clears throat> probably would have been pretty good on this. I'm not going to leave that little bite there. Let me finish this off. There we go. Ah. Now it's time for some peanut butter. After I finish chewing up the water chestnut and rice. Bamboo shoots too. Take us another swig of this just to wash it down. Whew. 
yeah, that stuff is. How do I describe that? It's so. It, it's very, very, very strong. Very potent. Um, I'm sure this is not something that's uh, easily picked up in most areas. But uh, I'll tell you what, I should send one of these to Gundog. Gundog needs to have one of these. I don't know how big he is on IPAs, but uh, he needs to at least try one. Mmm. I'm sure Blindside wouldn't matter, or wouldn't care, if I sent one his way. What's a lot of money? Crown Royal. I got a story about Crown Royal, if you guys want to hear it. Ever tried Alaskan Amber? Smoking? Nope. Never heard of it. Is that a beer? Or a wine? I'll drink it for you, Renee. <laughs> yeah, I got I got a pretty crazy story about Crown Royal. Six or twelve cases of MREs, that's a lot of money. Oh, yeah. But... Right now, guys, let me give you all a little bit of a insider information. I found three people uh, about four days ago. And I'm sure some of them are still up. Selling 2016 MREs, cases of MREs. You had to buy two cases, A and B. You get A and B. Two cases of MREs for anywhere in between 100 and one hundred and ten dollars, ninety nine ninety nine, and one hundred and ten bucks shipped. Now I want to tell y'all that is the cheapest way to ship MREs is to ship two cases at once. You tape them together, and it's one package. It costs fifty five, fifty eight bucks to ship it across the country to California from where I'm at on the East Coast. Now, after you factor in eBay fees, PayPal fees. Plus what they're paying for shipping. These people are not getting hardly anything out of their cases of MREs. I mean, seriously. But, there's some really good buys on MREs on eBay right now. If you guys are looking, 2016 MREs for anywhere from 100 to 110 bucks. Renee can tell you. I picked uh, um, her and John up a case. I don't know. Same guy's got some for sale. He had the jacket's price up ten dollars. That's why he's one hundred and ten. But I can vouch for that guy. He's in Florida. So if you guys see MRE two cases of uh, twenty sixteen A and B coming out of Florida for one hundred and ten bucks, it's probably the same seller. And uh, it was a good. They're they're a good seller. Quick shipping. Peanut butter and jelly, man. Salty. Sweet, that that strawberry jam is just out of this world. Something about that fresh. Uh, no, that was a uh, production date. 2016 production. 2019 inspection. Yeah, if you guys ever hear me talk about MREs, uh, I always, always, always refer to... The production date. The inspection date to me is irrelevant. Because if you know the production date. Then you know the inspection date. Or year. Or whatever. So if I refer to something as a 2016. it's That's a 2016 production year. What's the freshest MRE I've had? Um, as far as military goes. The freshest one I've had was uh, that pepperoni pizza that I just had. It was a... Uh, like late 2018 and I had it in like probably January so it, it was re it was really fresh it was only a few months old oh <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, it took me a second to register what you were saying there. Uh, G. Schultz said he's going to keep the stream on, but he might not be watching too closely. I get you. I got you. And I got a piece of fuzz in my strawberry jam. Wow. Okay, hang on a second. My little... You need to go out, dude. You need to go out. Sorry, guys. You need to go out, bud. Come on. Hurry. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> All right. I'm back. Renee says mine was a 2018. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, th that's the freshest I've had. And that's only because Steve sent it to me. <laughs> Steve sent me that 2018. Now, these are probably, uh, besides that, these are the freshest I've had. And these are, uh, these are super mega fresh too. Look at the date on that. 282nd day of 2018. So, yeah. You remember, uh, since G. Schultz is here, you remember a few years ago, let's say three or four years ago, whenever we would get an MRE that was three years old, we thought we were doing really good. Two years old, you were doing, you were doing fantastic. Two years old was super fresh. You never hardly ever, ever, ever seen an MRE that was a year old. And here lately, they've been getting more common to be fresher. I don't know how or why that is, but uh, this thing's still a little bit warm, believe it or not. I don't know how, but it's, uh, it's lukewarm, I would call it. Look at the poppy seeds in that. Focus. There we go. Look at that. Before I move on here, I have something that I want to doctor this up with a little bit. This thing's super moist and super soft. Oh man, I love that lemon smell coming out of that. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. So you guys can watch this. Yeah. Clean this spoon off really, really good. Hey, whoa, there's Steve. <laughs> wow. Didn't expect that. And uh, just boom, there's Steve1989 just showed up, guys. Uh, <laughs> he said, Old Smokey's hyped up on that pound cake. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, yeah, they do have some really fresh components. I I, I, I can't disagree with that. That's This is a, a late 2018 poppy seed, lemon poppy seed pound cake. And... Uh, Adding on some of their propri proprietary vanilla icing just to uh, literally be the icing on the cake. I mean, and I'm telling you, this thing is super, super moist. Soft and moist. Look at that. That, you don't see that every day. <laughs> you don't see that coming out of a ration every day. Lemon poppy seed pound cake with vanilla icing. I'm going to try just the cake on its own. Look how soft that is. It, I wish you guys could see. Look. I'm barely squeezing that. It's so... Quit with the focus. There we go. It's so soft. It's falling apart. Here we go. Wow. I don't think I've ever had... A pound cake this fresh as a matter of fact I know I haven't because there wasn't one in the uh, in that pizza that Steve sent me so I've not had a pound cake that's been this fresh this is super fresh the lemon extract is really 
it's it's pretty pronounced. Now, as far as the poppy seeds go, I don't understand what the point is other than a visual thing because as far as I know, you can't taste them. I can't taste them. Maybe they do give it just a tiny little bit of texture. Whenever I'm chewing it, maybe I get one that pops in between my teeth just every now and again. But it's nothing special. I could just have a uh, lemon pound cake and be and be happy. I'm gonna take a bite with the icing now. Mmm. It's all in my mustache now. Okay. That just brought it to a whole different ball game. Like it's on a whole nother level. That vanilla icing doesn't overpower the cake. The cake still comes through really nicely, but that adds a really nice strong vanilla sweetness to it. Mm. Wow. Yeah. If I had three thumbs up, I'd give that three thumbs up. But, we have the lemon with some vanilla. I'm going to add some strawberry on top of that. Because this is, hands down, the best strawberry jam I've ever had. I guess just only because of the freshness. Because this is just USMRE strawberry jam. But, you can tell by looking at the color of it. That it, it's just, it hasn't oxidized. It's just somewhat different. Yeah, there is a World War One review in the works. I don't know if Steve will answer you, but yeah. Yep. He had a ton of raw footage from that. Mmm. That strawberry jam is natural sweet really nice pronounced strawberry flavor this is probably one of the most delicate and decadent desserts that I've ever had come out of a ration I can't think of any other one by the way I just got to do this because uh, that was amazing that vanilla icing mixed with this strawberry jam on top of this lemon poppy seed pound cake. Which it does have a lemon flavor to it. And if you just eat it on its own, it is it does have a nice strong flavor. But when you mix everything together, it kind of seems more like a like a vanilla cake. You still do get that aftertaste of lemon. Sorry guys, my little dog's barking. Come on, buddy. I don't know where Stella's at. My big dog. Kind of weird. My bird's in there going crazy. Squawking at me. He's mad because I shut the door on him. But he was flying in here. I'm going to wash that down with a little bit of this Type 2 and mixed with that Deep Rich. Yeah, I saw B Temple had that um, AFFP4, which is the generation after the 3. <coughs> Excuse me. Which is, uh, oh. which is this one right here. Yeah, you guys can see. Mine's not in that great of shape. I mean, it's not bulging. And it, it does have a little bit of shake to it. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. You know, I haven't even got to my favorite part, which is the Cran Raspberry First Strike Bar. <gasps> yeah, check this out, dude. This is in a lot of his menus, and it, you're the same way I am with the Cran Raspberry Bars. 
We freaking love them. <gasps> wow, I'm getting full. Let me rephrase that. I've been full. I just keep eating. I won't eat, which I hadn't eaten in probably, I don't know, probably 30, 36 hours before this. Look at that. Isn't that just a beautiful sight? The fact that you could put something like this together directly out of a case of rations is pretty, it's pretty wild to think that. You can't do that out of a case of USMREs, I can tell you that right now. You might, might find a lemon poppy seed pound cake in a case of, case of 12. You might find one pound cake like this, but you ain't going to have no <clears throat> vanilla icing to put on top of it either. <laughs> Steve said he's never seen me eat so much. <laughs> hey, you're right, dude. Usually I don't eat this much because I just, I, I shouldn't, number one. And number two, I mean, sometimes, man, like, you, you like for instance, that HDR, I ate about half of both of those mains, and I was just like, I felt like a balloon so ready to pop. Like, I was bloated. Those things, man, they're so full of all the wrong things. For a typical civilian eating them like I was, you know, it just, that's for someone who's emaciated, who hasn't eaten in a week. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what those HDRs are for, usually. They're for your hun hunger-stricken regions and areas where people uh, don't eat on a regular basis. Yeah, that, uh, that AFFP4, I wonder... I wonder if there's really, I guess maybe one of these days we'll find out if Brent decides to open it. But then again, it's just as good hanging out in the collection. The thing is, there's some documentation on Canadian rations. And uh, a lot of it's been done right here on YouTube by Steve, RC Gusto, B Temple. I mean, a lot of the, the Canadian rations, like the uh, the survival rations and things, the more rare items, those guys right there are the ones that have knocked them out. Uh, Boykma. Boykma? What was his first name? Boykma. He used to do all the Canadian IMP uh, reviews back in the day. What is it? He doesn't do them anymore. I haven't seen him pop up in a long time. Yeah, I got this cool MRE Nation cup, too. Steve hasn't seen this cup yet. Got a couple really cool pocket knives, too, man. I, I got them right here on hand, so... This one right here, sent in by All Right Eeyore last week. Made by Skiff, which is a uh, demolition ranch. Uh, Matt owns, or he's part owner or full owner of Skiff. But a great big, huge knife. And then Blindside hooked me up with this... Gerber, and you can see, look at the size difference. I mean, this is a big knife, but it's a big knife, but look how well balanced it is. It's like, it's super well balanced. Hey, all right, Eeyore. Looking forward to the uh, Mothman video. You're going to like the Mothman video. Um, I don't know. Uh, thank you so much for that crazy $20 donation, by the way, all right, Eeyore. And uh, awesome. This, this knife is freaking crazy cool, man. Crazy cool. I really dig it. I am going to use this knife a lot. I'm probably, well, I already know. I'm swapping between this one and this Gerber right now. That's what I'm doing. But next, next live stream, I'm probably going to start off by showing everybody the knives and, and uh, you know, a little recognition for everyone that sent one in. And eventually I would love to, uh, to do a recognition of some type for everyone that sent something in that's gotten opened up on live streams or the mail calls that you, I used to do. I don't even do mail calls anymore. I just open everything at the at, on the live streams. It, it's kind of it's kind of taking the place of the mail call videos that I used to do. I usually open a package at least every other week. So I mean, sometimes it's every week. Sometimes it's every other week. Last week I think I opened two 
I know I opened all right Eeyores. I can't remember. But let me tell y'all something. I'm ready for a smoke. And I'm going to have one of these right now. I'll have the uh, canned camel to finish everything off. Uh, I'm going to have one of these and then I'm going to eat some of that Cran Raspberry First Strike Bar. And these are actually really... The last one I had, I really enjoyed it. Paul Boykma, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul Boykma comments on my review sometimes. Uh, I, I think that's who you're probably referring to, Renee, is Paul Boykma, the Canadian fellow who did all the... Uh, Oh, I don't know if K-Man's still here, but if K-Man's still here, check it out. I use your lighter all the time, dude. The lighter you sent me. The uh, Vegas lighter. And I have your Vegas ashtray that you sent me sitting right here, too. But uh, this is a this is a Chesterfield King. These are pretty large non-filter cigarettes, I must say. Let me just uh, do a real quick comparison for you guys. Because I got a Camel Regular right there. There's a Camel Regular non-filter. That's a brand new... Well, not brand new, 2017 actually. Camel non-filter, but uh, yeah, these are big smokes. These Chesterfields, Chesterfield Kings. Yeah, yeah. They put these in MCIs, the Kings, at one point. I've seen them. I've never gotten a pack, but I've seen them. Uh oh. There we go. Wow, I couldn't even tell I hit that. It's that smooth. Yeah, these are really, really nice. They have a a really light, kind of almost a, a airy draw. I take two puffs off of it and I still don't get any harshness. Super smooth. I can't believe how smooth these are. They're really quite surprising. Just how good they are. Honestly, I didn't expect much out of them because they weren't sealed up in accessory packets. And uh, these were obviously sample packet civilian versions. Long before the... Uh, I mean, these are still probably, uh, I would say... Late 60s to early 70s, I would say, is the date on these. You know, all applicable sales tax paid by Liggett and Myers Tobacco. And yeah, never could find out anything about the that silver package AFFP you sent me, except it could be a second variant dash three or possibly a eight. The label is slightly scuffed. Wow, three months smoke free, Sarah Kroll says. Um, I'm trying to quit too, man. I ordered this really nice, uh, big, expensive uh, vaporizer because I, I used a vape, vape to quit before. Right before I got hurt. Whoa, Miss Marilyn. Love your live streams, old Smokey. Well, we all love you, Miss Marilyn. Thank you so much for the uh, donation there. That was uh, super generous of you, as always. You uh, don't have to do that. You overdo yourself or outdo yourself. And, uh, you know, I'm working on a package for you. I want it to be something kind of special and unique, though. Uh, not just just stuff, not just MREs or something like that. Just I want it to be something cool. So, uh, now I just got sidetracked from what I was talking about. You know what? Believe it or not, that, that changed my head a little bit. I'm not going to lie, like, I've drank probably three quarters of that. Huh. How about that? Oh, yeah. I was talking about that vaporizer that I ordered. I don't have it in here next to me, but it's it's got a digital screen on it. Like, it's one of the more expensive ones. I wanted to go the route to where I thought I, it was something that I would use a lot and enjoy, even. And uh, I ordered the thing, got it, got it, you know, searched out the liquid that I wanted and the uh, all that crap did everything right filled it up by the instructions halfway with liquid and i never did actually get to use it because liquid got inside the lcd screen and also started leaking out of the bottom of it and 
that told me that it was inside the electrical components on the inside and if you guys have ever seen any videos of a vaporizer blowing up those things if they don't kill you they're going to burn the crap out of you they're going i mean they blow up they blow up if they're not handled properly or if they're not uh if something's wrong with one of them i guess it was defective and the one that those people sent me was defective and i've been dealing with them on ebay for honestly probably like a month month and a half now and i'm getting to the point where i'm just about fed up with them i'm just going to go ahead and go and file with ebay because they want me to pay them more money and they'll ship me another one i said look how about you just pay the the return shipping for this one and you guys can take it back and look at it and see what's wrong with it you guys don't need to be selling these to people if they're gonna if this is a, a problem and uh they they insisted that the shipping would be too much to send it back to them and they just wanted to ship me another one but they want me to pay a certain amount of money to ship me another one and i was like eh you know okay but you're gonna have to create an ebay listing so it's official and they wanted me to just go through their paypal and i was like nope i'm not doing that i'm not just going to send you guys money and not be through ebay so yeah that's uh i just don't trust them i mean if it was somebody i trusted it'd be different i don't trust them <laughs> they're supposed to be an american-based company but yet they speak very very broken english so uh yeah that that's my issue going on with my my vaporizer so i don't know eventually either ebay will get it figured out see but i could have could have been well on my way to quitting now i'm not going to quit completely i probably still will have a vintage smoke whenever i want one but i i think i have enough control that i if i can't do that then okay i can't but i think i have enough control that i can handle having a vintage smoke whenever i want you know once a week twice a week whenever i do streams if i want to have two or three vintage smokes i'll have them you know what i mean that's what i'm thinking that's what i'm hoping wait a minute i should say that's what my goal is but like i said if i if i think i can't handle it then then i just won't do it i guess even though that's kind of like what i i really enjoy the extra part of having a vintage smoke every now and again this thing is burning forever look at this thing yeah there's still half a smoke there no joke Yeah, lithium batteries can be very volatile. And if you're getting some kind of a liquid that's going in there on them while it has an arc or while it has power going to it and it and it decides to short out or something, I don't want to be on the other end of the wrath of that lithium battery when it blows up. So, what I bought was a vape box. Like it's a it's a I don't know, it's probably about I don't know, it's probably about as tall as that coffee cup is. And then it has the the mouth, the whatever it's called, the tube thing up here. And then it has a LCD screen on it that's about that wide and about that tall. That uh, that set. It's got all kinds of different settings: the temperature, the voltage, the amperage. Um, also counts down seconds for how long you've been pressing the button and hitting it for. So yeah. Uh, oh man, I got a puppy here. It's giving me a real run for my money. <laughs> I had to go let my dog out just a minute ago too. I don't know where my big dog's at. I don't know where Stella's at. I'm kind of curious to where she's at. I don't know if my old lady and son took the dog with them. And if they did, that'd be kind of odd, but maybe. All right, it's time to dig in. I'm craving this. This thing, it's like a, it's like a, a real fruit taffy with these crispy rice pieces in it but that has tons of real cram cran raspberries in it cranberries and raspberries and they smell so good mm. i don't know how many of you guys haven't had one of these but if you haven't had one, seek them out and try them out. If you like fruit, if you like fruit, I can't imagine anyone not liking one of these. These things right here blow the chocolate, the mocha, 
the apple, they blow them out of the water, in my personal opinion. Eeyore says, uh, I had my first one yesterday and it was awesome. All right, somebody else likes them. I can't remember who I was watching. Got one and said they just didn't like them. I was really surprised. I can't imagine very many people not liking them, but I guess if you don't like fruit. <laughs> Your puppy robbed some napkins. That reminds me that these stupid cats that I have, they're all the time picking things up and carrying them off. They have carried off so many things. And I don't even know where they go. Like, I've looked all over the house. A couple things that were kind of important. I tore the whole house apart. Down inside the air conditioner vents. I looked, literally, I looked everywhere I could think of. Underneath all the rugs, which I washed all the rugs. Picked them all, all the rugs up, washed the rugs. Thinking, okay, maybe they got it underneath the rugs. Come here, buddy. Come here. I don't know where Stella's at, buddy. But yeah, those cats that I have, they are like uh, little pack rats. I'm not real sure where they're carrying stuff off to. Now Stella, the big dog, she likes to tear um, stuffed animals apart. She'll rip the eyeballs off of them. But she tries to get to the inside of them. And she'll sit there and she'll get real quiet. Because usually she's not very quiet or, or calm. She's not bad, but usually she's just not, like, super quiet and super calm somewhere. Usually she's up one of our butts or she's wanting to play or something. But if she gets real quiet and goes off somewhere, she's over there picking off, like, the stuffing out of a stuffed animal. And she'll she'll sit there and pick at a hole that big around. She'll somehow get her, her mouth inside that little hole and start just pulling the stuffing out of stuffed animals. We still give her stuffed animals, though. She likes playing with them. So, what do I got left here? I got some uh, got some peanut butter left. Let me put some peanut butter on that and finish that one. A chunk. Well, that's a lot. This peanut butter, it's a little bit sweet. sweeter than what I'm used to and it does kind of uh kind of change the flavor for me a little bit can't beat that type 2 coffee that deep rich doesn't make a big difference I don't think Bassets. I think there might be uh, some sort of bloodhound or basset hound in our dog. She's got great big old ears, but supposedly she's half half pit bull and half um, British bulldog. But looking at her, plus the way her nose is, I think she's probably got some basset hound or something in her. Just the strawberry jam. Got some icing left over for that cake. Guys, I've eaten about all I can. I've literally probably eaten at least 1,500 calories, if I was to guess. Uh, maybe not quite that. Mm, maybe 1,300. But that's way more than I usually eat. Time to break out the can of camel. Ooh, that was a good save. Well, I didn't save it. I just got lucky. That's what I'm down to. And then it'll be on to this can. I don't know if Steve's seen this or not. Some of you guys might not have seen this. This is the Camel Lights keg. This has 60 smokes in it. 1989. 
on this can. So, uh, the year you were born, 1989. These ones are 91. Because I have the, uh, the camel cash that came out of these, I think. I think these were 91. It's just the classic camel design on the can, though. Same as the pack. Pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting can. I like this can. Probably keep that for a long time. I like this keg, too. You guys will see kind of here but you guys you'll see there's something pretty strange inside of that keg whenever I get it opened up it's uh, pretty different I'll have to send Steve one of these too I don't know if blindside's still here but I'll have to send Steve one of these he can give it to uh, give it to his dad or his brother Steve's not a drinker like I'm not a drinker we're just not drinkers Wow, I seriously am full. I am like, I'm not exact. I'm pre, I'm getting pretty close to stuffed. I gotta say, just letting the food settle a little bit. If I was, uh, of course, if I was going to eat this in the field, I would have never sat there and opened all this up. I probably would have just opened the main and the rice and maybe the crackers, depending on how I was feeling uh, I probably would have checked the rice and, and the main out first and if I felt like I needed some sort of a texture element then I might have opened the crackers but then your issue is you have three spreads you have your strawberry jam your peanut butter and your cheese spread and all you've got are those crackers so you got to decide are you going to save your crackers for your spreads I would or you're going to have you want to open up all your spreads and your mains all at once. Now, it depends on whether you're wanting to have a heavy dinner or if you're just wanting to, to break that. You could actually easily break this into two, two meals, a heavy meal and a light snack type meal. Or you could have multiple snacks out of this because I honestly like, oh, there's blindside again. Uh, he says, send them to whoever. I'll send one to Gundog for sure, man. Gundog, I think uh, he'll give us a good, he'll give us a good uh, outlook on that. Because I'm not a, like I said, I'm not a professional um, connoisseur of alcoholic beverages. And Gundog's probably got a pretty good grasp on uh, flavor profiles and what's good and what's not good. So maybe he'll know a little bit more along the lines of what's what to tell us about that right there. So definitely got to send him one. I got stuff I got to send Gundog anyways. So I've still got a few packages I got to send out. I, I still got to send one out to. Uh, I got to send one out to Nathan. I got to send one out to Nathan Stickney. Is he still in here? I got to send one to him. I got to send one to Miss Marilyn. I got to send one to Gun Dog. Um, eventually, I got to get something together for G Schultz. So I got about four or five more packages. I have shipped out roughly. Um, last count that I had, I had shipped out 19 packages in the last two two and a half weeks so really it's a big i know it's this might sound crazy but it's a really big relief whenever you've got a bunch of stuff that you know you need to ship out like that or you want to ship out not that i needed to well some things i needed to but need and want both intertwine intertwined there but once i shipped out all that stuff it was like it's a it's a huge relief plus now you just get the set back and wait for the people to receive items and hopefully they enjoy whatever it was that you sent them and they like what you sent them so i really do enjoy the giving aspect of it or the sharing aspect of it or whatever you guys know what i mean so i know all right eeyore said that uh eeyore placed an order with MRE Nation and didn't use my discount code. And uh, anybody who wants to know what my discount code is, uh, he said, man, I got a box I want to send and some stuff I need to as well. What a relief when it's complete. 
and the folks are happy. Yep, literally just said what I was typing before I could type it. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's the truth though. I mean it's straight up like, um, whenever usually like I you know, it's probably like once every three to four months that I, I'll be building up things for people and build up packages for people. Steve's the same way. Steve does the same thing that I do. We we get things together for people that we want them to have. And we'll like keep a box for a certain person in a certain spot. And every time we think of something that we want to send them, we'll throw it in that box. Same, you know, for multiple people. You know, it'll just be an a open, large, flat rate box taped on the bottom, open on the top. And I'll throw in a, whatever item in there, throw another item in there. And then it'll start to get full. And that's whenever I kind of realize that it's time that I need to start... Uh, going through the rounds and start shipping things out, but whenever I, usually when I do that, I always come up on smaller packages for folks that I didn't even intend to send packages to. That I and it just it's like this cycle, but it's a it's a really good cycle. Um, these things, Steve will attest to this as, as well as I will, and this is a this is something to live by. Is whatever you whatever you give out it always comes back and it always comes back usually close to tenfold and I know that sounds crazy but it's it's actually true um, we always try to pay each other back and we no one ever expects anything out of anyone but we want to do things for each other it's kinda of like a I don't know it's like a family member wanting to do something for another family member it's just one of those things that we we enjoy doing it's not an obligation. We enjoy doing it. So, it's nice. It really is a nice thing to share with everyone. And, uh, it, like I said, it, it brings brightness into someone's day where, um, for instance, like say it's something that I've had for a while or something, and I don't really have a, a certain plan for something that I'm going to do with it. And I think it would be better off with someone else. So that's what I do. I'll, I'll say, okay, well, they'll they'll definitely enjoy that more than I will. So that's usually how I go about that route. And usually, usually I'm right, I think. And uh, that's that's kind of the whole point of it, though. Now, I want to talk about, yeah, I said there is a coupon code. I, I guess I've already had this thing. I didn't know it, but I, it was already set up, has been set up. But OS, which is Old Smoky, OS 10, Old Smoky 10, OS 10 is my discount coupon code. And that is a 10% discount on anything you guys order from MRE Nation. And if you guys use that code, that lets MRE Nation know that you ordered coming from my channel. Um, I don't know if it goes any further than that. I don't know if that coupon code does anything beyond that. But it does give you guys a 10% discount. It's pretty daggone good if you ask me. Uh, build your own case was uh, $129.95. So you can knock $13 off of that with your 10% discount. So that would take you down to what? Uh, $120, $117 more or less. $116.95. So yeah, you cannot beat that. You can't beat that at all. I was telling him earlier, I, Steve wasn't on here, but a case of these, calorie-wise, plus all the cool stuff that you get inside, you're getting easily a case and a half of military MREs, but you're also getting super fresh stuff, and uh, you're getting a case and a half to two cases worth of stuff, because um, you get that 13th extra bag of goodies, and I'm, I'm sure I've taken things out of here. I'm pretty sure this isn't all of it. But you got your sweetened condensed milk, and there's a couple cheese spreads, a couple peanut butters, uh, that thing that you can take a shower with, the massive wet wipe, epic wipes, extra large, 4.4 ounce thing, and then you got all the uh, the cool addition to spices. You got a Tabasco and the hot sauce, and you got the where's the new the new one with the lime in it. It's my favorite, right there, the chili chili and lime hot sauce and then you got some true true lemon and also true lime flavoring the real flavor 
one packet equals one wedge of lime. Wow, that's I didn't see that before. But yeah, and a toothbrush, toothpaste, extra flameless ration here. And there. Um, some Smarties up in there. I think that was extra leftover from the last ration that I had. There's a toothpick in there. At least one toothpick. Some salt and pepper I see up in there. Yeah, just extra stuff, man. Like, good stuff. Stuff you're you're glad to have. I'll, t I'll say that. But yeah, I pretty much wiped the tray out. And uh, had me a good canned camel to, uh, to end the stream off with. All right, so I'm I'm gonna say it. I'm pretty daggone full. Yeah, that accessory packet, Steve, is is just an extra thing. Uh, you get your 12 meals, and then you also get that accessory. Well, I, it, it's like it's an extras bag. I think it's got a name. It, it, hang on, it's right here. Uh, bonus pack. Yeah, build your own case bonus pack. So you get 13 bags in a case, and this is one of them. But then you get the 12 meals that you pick, and uh, I'll have to I'll have to send you a PDF of the menu list that Gun Dog sent me because I'm going to be honest I was really surprised whenever I looked at what each meal contained. Like almost every meal has a pound cake, and they've got that apple um, the apple what is it apple pound cake apple. Apple pie pound cake or something like that. I don't know. I haven't had one yet. Um, it's like spiced apple pound cake that's got actual chunks of apples in it. Um, there's a few menus that have that. And then you got, I don't know, there's like pound cakes and everything. There's these things pop up. Cran raspberry ones pop up everywhere, which is freaking amazing. I mean, like, for real, these are the, these are the bomb. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Plus, you get three spreads every meal, I think. As far as, like, super detailed on descriptions, I'm not the guy. I know all the ones that I've had so far, I'm pretty sure had the three, the three sides on the standard meals, like the Build Your Own Case meals. When I built my own meal... I think it was a little bit different whenever I built my own MRE. I had uh, well, I had a French chocolate pudding, um, multi-grain snack bread, beef stew, hmm, some kind of spread, peanut butter maybe. I can't remember what all I had. I'm trying to rack my brain and think. Hey, uh, Tracy, loved your video showing where you live. I'm away for the next week. Might do a vlog video instead so you can see a bit of my crazy life in the UK. Nims, don't worry. People like the vlog style stuff. If, you, if you're if you good at shooting stuff like that, I'm going to be, like, I can't do much stuff like that. I can't really walk around. And when I do walk around, the camera would be like this because uh, cause I'm walking on one leg and crutches. <laughs> And the, the only way I'd, I'd need one of those uh, gimbals that you'd put a camera on, and it would be like, you know, steadies and balances and smooths everything out. And I those things are like 400 bucks. And I I don't even know if I could shoot a vlog. I would like to try shooting vlogs one of these days. I think it would be kind of fun. Uh, don't know that I'd be able to pull it off, but uh, I don't know if I could handle the shooting in public. Like, because, you know, whenever you're sitting there talking to a camera in public, people are going to be like, what is this guy doing? And especially if anywhere around where I live, like, there, nobody around here uses technology. Um, if they, The most they do is, like, look at Facebook or maybe watch some YouTube videos. But as far as, like, actual anyone creating any type of content around here, I can't think of any other... Not right off the top of my head. I'd have to search it. Surely there are content creators in West Virginia. I just, I'm not privy to any right off the top of my head. Um, it's just not something that you see people doing around here. 
Now, if I went up around the Columbus area, maybe, in Ohio, I'm sure uh, there's plenty of people creating content in that city up there in uh, Columbus or maybe Dayton or um, Cleveland, something along those lines. RN, hey, Smokey. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Daniel heard Subtube. Does the name come from Subaru? Uh, da, da. Yeah, I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't mind doing the vlog thing. I just don't know if I can handle the whole, the whole public, uh, speaking to the camera thing. I don't know if I can do it. All right, guys. Um, I think I'm going to wrap up this live stream. It was really awesome to have everyone show up. I mean, we had K-Man show up. We had Black Dog Bob showed up. Uh, Gun Dog was here. Um, as far as, like, you know, creators and stuff like that. We had, uh, who else? Uh, G. Schultz was here. Um, Steve was here. <laughs> Steve still is here, I think. But, uh, wow, what a live stream, guys. This really turned out to be an awesome live stream. I can't believe how this thing ended up turning out, man. Really, uh, really something, I've got to say. And I think we've ended up having a ton of viewers, even though nobody, not hard, I'm not going to say nobody, but almost nobody. I mean, only a few people got notifications for this live stream, even though I did three posts, a story, and also I texted everyone that I had their personal phone numbers. I texted everyone I knew, and I made uh, I made posts on MRE Info's Slack and a couple other places. G. Schultz announced it on his Facebook, so <laughs> it's kind of, uh, kind of had a lot of help getting the word out as far as uh, uh, G. Schultz really helped me out, and then I just kind of did the uh, legwork sending out texts to everybody and making posts wherever I could since I knew YouTube wasn't going to notify people like they're supposed to. So, in closing, if you guys want to check out MRE Nation, there's a link right down in the top of my description. Also, if you're when you're checking out, use the promo code OS10. That is my personal promo code and uh I'm not sure if that's going to, I'm not sure how that works exactly yet, but I do know that it'll give you 10% off. So that is reason enough right there to use it. And uh, I can't say enough about these build your own case meals. I'm really impressed with them. Uh, no complaints really. Other than, like I said, if I was going to change anything, it would be the coffee. And I, I threw my own coffee in here, but if I was going to change anything, it would be the coffee. Everything else though, um, <laughs> I, I like I like everything so all right guys and uh, I want to say a huge thanks to my patrons everybody who has stuck with the patreon program over there uh, I really appreciate you guys doing that and I want to say uh, a huge thanks to each and every single one of you folks for taking the time out of your Saturday to come and hang out with us here on the live stream and not only that Everyone who was kind enough to donate tonight to the live stream is, uh, I can't say thank you enough to you guys. You guys, I'm humbled by it. I really appreciate you guys. And I look forward to every Saturday. I really want to try to get another live stream in during the week sometime. But if I do that, it's going to have to be earlier in the day, I think. Uh, I might try to do that. I don't know who would want to show up for an earlier in the day live stream like i'm talking between four and six o'clock probably between four and six i mean not starting but start at four end at six something like that or start at four end at five do an hour live stream or something but uh if i could do something like that i might i might just test the waters and see if you guys like that or who could show up because through the week i know most folks are going to be at work and that is like that's pushing the limits especially east coast time versus west coast time if i start at four o'clock here that's only going to be one o'clock out west so it's really going to put a lot of people uh out as far as being able to show up so 
But all right, I guess I have blabbed on enough. You guys definitely go check out MRE Nation. Can't say enough good things about the meals that I've had so far. Really have enjoyed them. Also, the two winners. You guys hit me up in my email. I will set you up with a direct contact with Bob. And Bob will give you guys your promo code for your winnings. And uh, and we'll go from there. So, all right, guys. I guess really all I got left to do is say thank you guys for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next live stream.